Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Nerd Mode On, and in today's video I'll be talking about five things you may or may not know about this channel, and this is primarily centered around YouTube and the content I produce for my channel. So of course, jumping right into it, why did I start a YouTube channel? The main reason I decided to embark upon starting my own YouTube channel is mainly because at the time you kind of needed an account to voice some opinions to try to get everybody's feedback, and in many cases just try to join the conversation. However, that is not the only reason I started a channel. In many cases I wanted to subscribe to channels and of course you kind of need to have an account in order to do that so of course that was kind of one of the main reasons I made my own channel and at the time I really didn't think too much about the name so I kind of just gave it a random name. Many of you guys probably might remember that my name for my actual channel is 999Troy999 which obviously is much different than it is now considering that now it's a little bit more professional and just seems less childlike. The official date that I joined YouTube and made my account would be May 28th of 2009, so my account is approximately 6 years old, which is definitely pretty good if you think about all the content that's been made by many other YouTubers in the last 6 years. I was kind of within that, watching the videos alongside you guys, and in many cases producing content along with that. Now of course, in terms of why I decided to make YouTube videos, the main reason was is because at the time there were a lot of people that were making videos, and I thought it looked really easy. Now however, looking back on it, YouTube is definitely not easy. I think people get the misconception that YouTube is very easy because of channels that upload only in 720p and pump out like seven videos a day. I think everybody thinks and looks at that and goes, well, this only must take five minutes to do. It must be really easy and doesn't really take a whole lot of work. And I was definitely one of the people when I first started that thought that. However, with time, I've kind of developed my own opinion about it. And YouTube is a lot more stressful than I think a lot of people understand. And in many cases, it's a lot more time consuming, especially depending on what types of videos you wish to create. Now, of course, with that said, one of the main reasons I decided to make videos was because I wanted to get a bunch of really good players together and just go into public lobbies and destroy kids for days. That was kind of one of the main reasons I actually started my channel. You know, at the time of building my channel, I definitely was playing with a lot of good friends that were really good at the game. However, there are definitely always better people out there. And one of the main reasons I wanted to get good people is because I wanted to go into lobbies and just try to destroy kids and have no competition, which I thought would be very fun. But anyway, that's the main reason I decided to make a YouTube channel and in many cases make my own channel that I would produce videos for and try to entertain the overall community and try to push myself into people's viewing experience, which I find to be a very entertaining thing by itself. Coming in at our second question, I have, is YouTube your only source of revenue or do you work outside of YouTube? YouTube is not my only source of revenue because I'm not really a big channel, so I have no desire to jump into YouTube full time. I mean, I think it would be fun in many accounts, but it's really not something I want to focus all my effort on, considering that I enjoy doing it as a hobby, and I think when you transfer to full time, you kind of give up the fun factor in terms of views, and you start to think a little bit more about that stuff, which is something that can be very stressful, especially when it comes down to the YouTube space. Now, my channel is definitely getting farther into the advancements of becoming a better channel, and I do appreciate all the support that you guys give my channel considering that we've gone from zero subscribers all the way to where we are now and that wouldn't be possible without your guys' continued support and enjoying the overall videos. One of the redeeming qualities of my channel is that I got picked up by Machinima pretty early on considering that at the time I had approximately three to 400 subscribers which at the time really wasn't very common. My channel got partnered officially by Machinima in 2012 towards November, which is definitely a pretty good time. I mean, I've been a part of Machinima for quite some time. Granted, I've never had the opportunity to post my videos on their channel, but that's for quite a bit of reasons. My channel is only a partner. I'm actually not a director. I don't have the capabilities or the ability to upload right to their channel, which is unfortunate, but I guess, of course, that all comes with time, and I'm sure good things will happen to those who wait their turn. So some of you guys might be asking yourself, you know, what do I do then instead of YouTube? I must be doing something outside of YouTube considering that I consistently update my hardware and software especially when it comes down to making you guys videos and I obviously need to have a livable wage in order to survive. Now of course I do have a job outside of YouTube and I do feel like it's definitely something that's a little bit more temporary. The specifics of the job are really not important especially when it comes down to relaying it to you guys because it's more of a temporary thing and it's definitely not something that was meant to be permanent. I currently have plans to attend college considering that I would like to further educate myself on the matters that I'm interested in and also pick up a degree along the way to consistently put me in a position that I feel like is more prevalent of my abilities and allows me to make a little bit more money especially when it comes down to the overall things that I enjoy. So I feel like that's kind of my current plans. I don't know exactly where that leads me in the next 10 years but hopefully into something that I enjoy and I'm hoping that it'll be something that's worthwhile especially when it comes down to all the effort and money that will be dumped into it. Coming in at our third question I have why do you upload your videos in 2160p or also known as 4k and how do you do it? 
Now this is definitely a question I get from time to time considering that I think many of you guys actually think I have a 4K monitor, which I really wish I did. I think that would be really impressive to own one of those. Granted, I'm not really willing to dish out the thousand dollars that they cost and I don't really feel like it's worth the money. But of course, unfortunately, I do not have a 4K monitor as many of you guys might think. My current setup includes three 1080p monitors that I don't really play in stereoscopic mode, which would be playing on all three monitors, especially if you're an NVIDIA person. I don't really feel like that's something that I do. I just mainly play on one monitor and use the other two as kind of resource tools and have maps and stuff open depending on what game I'm playing. However, when it comes time to actually making the video for you guys, the reason I actually have my video showing up in 2160p is because I upscale the image all the way to 2160p so that when the video actually arrives on YouTube, it'll be granted a bigger bit rate, which thus gives you guys a better overall image. Coming in at our fourth question, I have, how long have you been doing YouTube? So of course, my first official video uploaded on YouTube was of March 3rd of 2011 at 1.42 a.m. in the morning. So definitely I've been doing YouTube for a few years now. I've definitely been around the ballpark, kind of seen all the beautiful sights, and for the most part, seen everything go down, especially when it comes down to YouTube drama. My first official video was actually of Call of Duty, and for some of you guys that have been a Battlefield fan of my channel for the last couple of years, might be a little bit baffled by that, considering that I'm sure many of you guys have went through my archive of videos considering that I have approximately 1,000 of them uploaded. But of course over the years of making videos I've had the opportunity to switch between a couple of games and I feel like I've kind of found the sweet spot especially when it comes down to a game that I enjoy playing and in many cases uploading videos for which is definitely Battlefield and I enjoy the community considering that it's more professional. However at the same expense that's a little bit more wide open and everybody just kind of enjoys different aspects which definitely as a content creator allows me to be more successful in different areas. And finally coming in at our fifth question I have, who do you draw your inspiration from? Now, of course, in the YouTube community, there are definitely a lot of inspirations that I kind of draw from, and there's definitely a lot of people to be pointing your fingers at. You know, there's definitely a lot of great people in the community. There's some bad ones, and you just kind of learn some good things. You learn the good, bad, and the ugly from just looking at YouTube. However, my main inspiration comes from some of the channels that put a lot of effort into their videos, and I try to do the same thing with mine. I try to really sit there and look at them before I upload them and decide if this is worthy of your guys' time or if there's ways to improve it. Two of the main people I take inspiration from are Jack Frags from the Battlefield community as well as Frankie and 1080p from Arma or the DayZ community considering that they're very professional in their videos and they spend a lot of time making those videos. It is definitely very inspiring to look at the 1% of YouTubers that actually put a lot of effort into their videos and definitely put a lot of effort forth when it comes down to making them which is definitely something that I really appreciate and something that I try to incorporate into my videos especially when I'm making them and editing them and really doing a lot of effort to make them the best they can be. But anyway guys, this has been this episode. I figure this would be kind of a fun video for you guys that things that you might not know about the channel, especially considering that I don't really give you guys a whole lot of information about me too much. I mean, I guess we do have recap, but that's kind of like a rinse and repeat system, which I'm definitely working on trying to develop and make a little bit better as time goes on. But anyway guys, this has been NMO, and I'm going to be signing out guys. Peace.